let's say that the baby tar one of the baby tar sorts decides to go out and check out what's all the floods. And of course, they do, but the poachers end up threatening one of the babies, which gets Rexy's attention. Now, we also got to think that in modern, that most modern day birds, they take turns on taking care of the offspring. Most likely the same thing will happen here. Rexy and the, and the tarp sort, and the female tarp sort will take turns on looking after the babies. So let's say during this time, the tarp sort was out hunting. And Rexy was the one staying behind to watch over the babies. And she saw the poacher threatening one of the babies. And her mothery instincts kick in. And she goes into full protective mode. Most likely the campers would actually be really confused on why Rexy is helping out the tarp source. Not only that, but the poachers will be wondering that too, because, like, yes, they're very similar, but not really the same species. They're very similar, but close enough. Again, Rexy would probably be very protective over these babies because, again, as time goes on, she'll perform that mothery bond with these baby tarbosaurs. Despite not actually being related to the babies, most likely she'll look at the babies as if they are her babies. Basically, the campus will basically deal with a family of tyrannosaurs. That was for Camp Cretaceous. Now, let's take a look about what would happen in Fallen Kingdom. Most likely, Rexy and the female tarpsaurs will do whatever they can to find enough food to feed the baby tarbosaurs. Let's say the tarbosaurs are now juvenile. The baby tarbosaurs are now juveniles. But then being juveniles, they're basically old enough to help them out on the hunt. Now, Let's say that eventually over time Let's say that um, the Tarpsaur juveniles would eventually start to go off on their own. Not all of them, but some of them will eventually leave to find their own territories and etc. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, let's say that Rexy and the female tarpsaurs eventually get taken off the island along with a few of the baby tarpsaurs. Let's say three of them, and the others unfortunately did not make it. The female tarpsaurs will be in mourning over the loss of most of her offspring that did not make it. Rexy will be in mourning too considering that she viewed the babies 
as her offspring too. But they will be at least thankful that three of them are alive. Now let's say when they escape from Lockhorn Manor, Rexy and the female Tarpsaurus and the baby Tarpsaurus, who are now juveniles at this point, would have to go and find a new home, somewhere safe, somewhere where they can get enough food, somewhere where basically they can be fine and free. Now, that was, since Rexy and the Tarbosaur family don't really have anything to do in Fallen Kingdom, considering Rexy didn't have much of a role in Fallen Kingdom besides of just being there, which was my one problem I had with the film, was that the fact that Rexy was not really useful. She was just kind of there. Anyways. Now let's go on to the events of Jurassic World Dominion. Now this is where things get really interesting. Let's say once when Rexy and the Tarpsaur family enter into Bowser Valley, they would immediately try to find their own territory and somewhere to stay. Now, let's say, for example, instead of Rexy encountering the Giganotosaurus, let's say one of the baby Tarpsaurus encounters him first. And foolishly, he tries to fight the tar the uh, Giganotosaurus, but gets his butt nearly killed until Rexy and Tarpsaurus pack show up, and the Giganotosaurus is just like, you know what, this is not a fight worth winning. They outnumber me. So, I'm just going to turn around and go my own way. I'm just going to go my own direction. Now, during the... Let's say that over time, Rexy and... The Tarbsaur family end up actually taking over for every kill that the Giganotosaurus makes. Basically, with, with the Tarbsaur family on her side, Rexy can truly sh declare herself as more like the queen. Like, yeah, she is a queen still, but even without the Tarpsaur family, but, but we gotta think, she's pretty dang old. I mean, we saw the way she almost got killed when the freaking Indominus Rex and the freaking Giganosaurus almost took her down. Now, let's say if she was younger, she would most likely handle it very well. But again, the only reason why Rex almost lost to that to them was because she was too old. Like yes, she had decades of experience, but she almost got killed several times because of her age. And as a result, that almost got her killed. Like nothing is bad about that, it's just that we saw how the way she moves. She's not that fast on how she used to be, because in Dress Park, she moved extremely fast to catch up to the car. She was quite literally fast. Now, I know she got a disabled. What about Camp Cretaceous? She moved pretty fast. Yes, but she wasn't that old. She was old, but not that, that old. How the way she is old and Jurassic World Dominion. And it's back to the theory. So, yeah, Raxi would definitely be more safer with the Tarpsaur family, because as long as they have each other, they'll be fine.
that rat seed can truly be more safer with the tarp sores. And in the end, let's say when Rexy and the Tarosaurus meet the Giganotosaurus for the last time, Rexy decides to go in and try to fight the Giganotosaurus on her own for a bit. She ends up losing, and the Tarosaurus family ends up going in and saving her life. They ended up killing the Geonosaurus, ending his reign of terror, and in the end, they win the battle. And let's say that when Rex meets, meets Buck and Doe, this is where the sad part of the theory comes. Rex will most likely have to say goodbye to her Tarbosaurus family. And even though the Tarbosaurus mother did really appreciate Rexy helping her, she will miss her. And plus, Rexy is back with her own kind. I mean, sure, there could be the theory where she could, where they could stay with, with Buck and Doe, but let's just say that it is basically the Tarp Source's mother's decision to let Rexy be with her own kind. And let's say that Rexy he agrees, and the Tarbosaur babies will, event, will actually miss Rexy because she was like a second mother to, to them. And Rexy will, will miss them too, and let's say that there will be times where they'll come and visit each other. But now it was time for the bulk of, time for them to be with their own kind. So in the end, the Tarbosaurs go off to be with their own kind, and Rexy is left to be with her own kind. So, yeah. But in a way, this theory was way more different than how, basically, the theory with Uh, what if she, she meant big and little eat, eaty? Basically, she had no reason to leave them. They were a big pack. A big, big pack. So in the, so Rex had no reason to leave big and little eaty when they meet Buck and Doe. That's the only thing that's different between these two theories. Rexy and the female Tarbosaurus, on the other hand, they had to leave each other so they could be of their own kind. So, yeah. Again, the events of Jurassic Wo World, Camp Cretaceous, Fallen Kingdom, and Dominion would change, but not that big, in comparison to what if she, Rexy met big and little eating. Basically, yeah. If she met the Tarbosaurus, basically the entire Jurassic World franchise would change a bit. Not as big when she met big and little Edie, but big enough. So yeah, what would you guys think? What do you think would happen if Rexy, if the Tarbosaurus saved Rexy? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, hope you guys, hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.